Hi everyone, it's Carrie from the Online Nail Bar. Today we would like to share a splatter nail art tutorial with you. This was kindly provided by Jessica from the blog Jessica's Nail Art and we've been following her blog for a while now and just love her designs. This splatter nail art design is extremely easy. You don't have to have any artistic skills to do this design. If you want your nails to make an impact and have people think that you're a nail expert, then you should definitely try this simple design. The best thing about this technique is that it's just super fun to do and it doesn't have to be perfect at all. In fact, the messier the better for this design and we hope that you all enjoy this tutorial. Okay, let's get started. You're going to need the following. One straw, a normal size straw will work and possibly a smaller straw from a juice box. Jessica has used a straw a little smaller than a regular straw. Large straws won't work for this design. You're going to need a piece of paper to practice on and work over the top of. A base colour. Jessica's used white. You're going to need your splatter colours. In this design Jessica has used five different colours. You're going to need some foil, some scotch tape, a clean up brush or q-tip and some acetone. Step 1. First of all, you're going to have to pick your base colour and paint your nails with this base colour. This image shows the Wet n Wild French White Cream. Allow the base colour to dry before you move on to step 2. The next step is to pick your colours. As you can see in the picture, Jessica has used five different colours. Step 3 is an optional step and it can be done in several ways. Jessica has used scotch tape to tape off her fingers to limit the mess. Jessica has only taped her left hand and she used pure acetone to clean up the right hand and it took no time at all. Instead of tape you can also try Vaseline or chapstick to keep the polish from getting on your skin. Just see what works best for you. Step 4. Jessica has used foil for this but you can use whatever you want. All you do is take one of the colours and put a drop or two of polish onto the foil. It's best not to use paper for this stage as it will just soak up the polish and dry it out far too fast. Take your straw and dip it into the polish. The polish should form a film at the tip of the straw just like you can see in this image. Step 6. Take the straw and blow through the straw. Jessica has practiced on a piece of paper first just to get a feel for how close the straw should be to your nails and how hard to blow. It really just takes a little bit of practice just to get a feel for it. After doing it a few times then just move on to your nails. Jessica has done one or two splatters of the first colour on each nail and then she just did the rest of the colours in exactly the same way. If the polish stops forming a film over the straw, just add more polish to the drop on the foil. Now we're on to the clean up stage. So using acetone, clean up the edges where the polish is splattered onto your skin and cuticles. Jessica also has a tutorial on clean up on her blog just under the tutorial section. In the images, the top two are cleaned up and the bottom two are not cleaned up, so this will give you a good example. I really hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial and I would just like to thank Jessica for her great designs. If you like this tutorial then please visit Jessica's blog at www.jessicasnailart.blogspot.com and visit us at the Online Nail Bar at www.onlinenailbar.com.